this is the uh, Big D Barbecue Battle. It's hosted by the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we decided to take place in this uh, just, you know, for a few reasons. Uh, we want to give back to the Dallas community, and you know, when we support something like this, it gets the community together. And you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta decompress from the everyday work schedule, and I think this took care of that. You know, pretty good doesn't win competitions. No, nope. color's nice. Lynn's our first pit master, so anything less than first place will not be acceptable, and he will not be invited back if we don't. <laughs> win. Yeah, I'm told if we don't play, so I don't ever get to come back. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if that's good or bad. So that's why he purposely ruined his meat. <laughs> so how do you determine what you think the judge's taste profile is going to be? Is he going to be more sweet? Is he going to be more smoky? Or do you just go with what you think is best? Go with what you think is best because you can never outthink what the judge crowd is going to be. Mm -hmm. Every event is different. Every participant that's a judge is different. Take it. We, we, my the, wife the, the trick alone. is being consistent with your cooking and be good, and you'll generally get on the place table, which Take is it. 10. The, the, the known right. is the top three. If you make the top three, you're doing good. Definite winner. I don't know, man. We haven't unwrapped mine yet. <laughs> <laughs>